Hello friends all of you who are seeing my video must have seen enterprise gis portal so when we log in into the enterprise gis portal it looks like this so this is the user interface and i have posted a lengthy video on how to develop this thing and i have taken you to the line by line of the code so you can yourself develop the enterprise gis portal like this while working on one of the project it was required to change the gui and we have uplifted the gui and some of the functionality of enterprise gis portal so today i am going to show you how we have developed that project so let me take you to through that so this is the user interface so login page remains as it is so you provide username and password and once we click on the login button the gui opens up like this you can see it is a very minimal gui wherein we have given the majority of the space for the map area and at the bottom you can see we have a logo and a company name here i am showing enterprise gis portal by gis simplified with the logo so it is at the bottom and maximum space is given to the map area now all the functionality tools have been moved to this table of content which you can open up by clicking on this button so table of content open up like this so map will shrink to accommodate table of content and here you can see there are home layers search feature info and there is a tools button and then there is a button to close this table of content so let me take you all these buttons functions one by one so here in layers you can see uh, there is a layer switcher so you can switch on and off the layer as per your requirement so it remains as it is but it has been moved here now there is a drop drop down functionality like this so i can close these layers and i can open up legends here itself so you can see the legends like this i can close this drop down so both uh, this thing will collapse so there is a collapse and expand kind of a functionality for layer and legends so they look like this now in the old uh, portal we were having a search functionality here so when i click anything i search for some ram letters and then it will show me all the districts matching with that and when i click on that it used to take me to that position the same functionality has been provided here so there is a search functionality now same thing i can do over here i can type down some of the words and then it will start searching and it will put give a list over here i can click on any of this thing and it will take me there so search functionality remains as it is but it has been provided in the table of content so i have to type only two characters and it will start searching and this is how it shows so search functionality is working perfectly fine now other thing is feature info earlier if i show you feature info was working like this so there is a button when i click that and then if i click on any of the feature it used to open up feature info like this and one out of two so i can click next next so here it is a state boundary and then there is a road network so that is how to, it used to work now here feature info is like this when i click on feature info button it opens up a, in the table of content and when i click on any of this road it will show me there is a road network and other details as per the attribute table when i click next it will show me that there is another district boundary where i have clicked and district name and third thing is state bound so feature info has been slightly modified in terms of look and feel so that is feature info now all this functionality of old portal that is like major download map attribute query special query everything has been moved into the tools so when i click there you can see major digitize feature is a new functionality i will introduce you once we reach there attribute query special query and map plot so all this functionality has been moved into this drop down so when i click on length i can measure the length it remains as it is however gui has been changed so i can measure the length of a feature which i draw on the map similarly i can measure the area so i have to draw the polygon or close figure and then area will be measured so i just click on that and graphics will be removed so measure is like that 
now let me show you what is digitize feature so here you have to select what kind of feature you want to digitize so i can digitize point line or polygon so let me take you through the line first so i click on line and this button i have to click to start drawing so let me just uh, uh, digitize on this road so i'm just digitizing so i can digitize like this now you can see it is shown with a yellow color i can digitize other road as well so let me just digitize roughly this other road so i am able to digitize say so at the same time i can digitize some of the points so this is the city i am digitizing maybe this can be the other location here i want to digitize polygon as well so i am digitizing a polygon so i have digitized point line and polygon here now i have a option to download it or clear it so i will click the download button so you can see over here a geo json file has been downloaded i can locate that file it is located over here and i can open it in a google earth so i have opened up google earth and now i will just drag and drop this thing on google earth and let us see how it shows so whatever we have digitized you can see over here these are the two points some line some road and there is some polygon so all those things are visible whatever we have digitized so it is working absolutely fine so anybody can digitize number of feature over here and then export it into a geo json and then from there they can convert to shape file or autocad as per the requirement so there is a digitize feature which i have introduced it is a new feature which was not there in the earlier portal so i'll just clear off this thing so this is what digitize feature attribute query has moved into this collapsible panel so again it remains the same i want to select all the district that are having district name like ram so i'll just put like this when i execute that query list will be shown here and map will zoom to the entire extent to cover all this feature now i can click on any of this row and it will take me to that particular district so you can see over here so this attribute query remains as it is it has moved to that collapsible panel so i'll clear attribute query similarly spatial query remains as it is i want to select all the district that are intersecting the line which i am drawing so let me draw a line i'll use this draw toolbar so i'm just drawing a line so you can see multiple districts are intersecting with this line let me just execute this query and you can see the list and the number of districts that are intersecting are available again i can click on any of this row in the table and it will zoom map to that particular district so this is how it is working so fantastic i am just clearing that spatial query and map plot function earlier if you see in the map plot function i was having only paper size as a input and then it used to export now this time i am having paper size as a input as well as the image format or map format that i want to export so i am keeping a4 as the format and pdf and when i plot it you can see the map has been exported based on whatever i was seeing the map has been exported in the a4 page size i can change the page size i can change the image format and then i can export so it has been exported now we can see the image so it is the same as that image now i can even switch on some of the layers so i can go to layers panel i can make it visible i, I can use this home button to make it full extent and now when i go to a map plot i'll select the highest page size a0 and jpeg and i plot it it is very fast you can see it has plotted the map and then if i open up it will open up like this so this is the map which we have exported so this is how i have you know combined all the functionality into a single uh, table of content and into a single uh, button called tools now when i close this uh, table of content will be closed 
now i am having multiple other functionalities you can see three gray buttons over here if i hover they will turn into red let me take you there so what are these functionality i'll i'll show you very quickly so this globe button if you see it it is about like converting this thing into 3d so right now it is in the form of a map so two dimensional now when i click on this button you can see everything will turn into 3d and uh, it is visible in the form of a globe so you can have a 3d look and feel and uh, i can just rotate this thing and i can do all the functionalities in 3d in nature so this is how i can seamlessly move between two dimensional feature to a three dimensional feature if i am having some data which is having height attribute i can display it and uh, i can see that data in 3d so now that button has changed to map which is a two dimensional flat so i can just click on that and that this map area will be converted into a flat map so this is a toggle button to switch between 2d and 3d view of the data so that's the new thing which i have added uh, in addition to that i am having a gps functionality so wherein i can click on this button you can see this button if i click on this button it will capture the location of my device in this case i am sitting uh, uh, in a house uh, using some laptop but still through the network it will capture my location it will show my location on the map wherever i am sitting so let me just switch on that so it has taken up this location and now you can see it is putting up a green dot so it shows that i am somewhere in gujarat so similarly uh, you can switch on and off this uh, gps location in the next phase i am going to add one more button that is follow gps so if you just move around uh, gps button will keep on moving and then it will uh, take you through the navigation kind of application so this is the gps functionality so uh, these are the all different kind of a functionality i have added into my uh, enterprise gis portal and i have changed the user interface i hope you like it so in your comment you just mention like what kind of a user interface you like this is the old user interface and this is the new interface so you just let me know which kind of interface you like the most now using this we can log out so i hope you are liking my video if you want to develop a user interface like this enterprise gis portal like this uh, we can have a detailed session i am planning to have online training for the students who want to develop a user enterprise gis portal like this please let me know if you are really interested in developing this kind of function i will arrange online training for this so thank you guys uh, keep learning keep keep growing keep performing thank you